Right, welcome back guys. Part four of our tutorial series. Um, today we're going to be concentrating on the feet. So we're going to do a quick feet rig. Um, as you can see here, I have another reference sheet that I found off the internet. Um, so I can't take credit for it. But it's very handy. And then what it does, it lays out the different angles of the feet. So we're going to start from this position. And we're going to use a smart bone to rotate the feet all the way to the back, vice versa, and top down. In this tutorial, I'm probably not going to do the top down because it's going to take a long time. But once I do the left and right, or just the right, you'll be able to see how it's done and you'll be able to apply the same technique to get your ups and down. So let's start. What we want to do again is we're going to create a layer. We're going to call it, and we're going to do this. We're going to call it foot. Now, this is going to be the mask. I'm going to use masking on this one. Um, I didn't use masking on the hands, but I'm going to go back to masking stuff on the foot. So, I want another one called, let's call it the sole. And we want another layer called, um, call it detail. So on the foot layer, I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna draw the basic shape. So, because I know I'm going to want the foot to stretch out this way, I need to make sure I have enough points on both sides to allow that to, to happen. So I'm going to add another point here possibly, another point here, that should be enough. So the sole, I'm going to just... do this for the sole but I'm going to bring it all the way up like this and that will make the base So now what I want to do is create a group layer. I'm going to call it shoe or foot. And I'm going to drag all of these layers inside. And uh, I will add the detail now. So if I go to your detail layer and just draw the bits of the shoe that you want to include
Right, so that's that should do. That should do it for now. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that I have enough points to be able to do the body turn, um, do the shoe turn. Okay, that that should cover it. I'm gonna. I think I might do another layer and call that the tongue. trainer and I'd have it below the DL and I'm just gonna have it come up like this and on that same layer I'm just gonna add one of these as well quickly So guys, this isn't really a um, drawing tutorial. I'm just trying to show you guys how I do the, the, the foot turn. So it's not going to be as detailed as if I was to do it for myself. But it will work and it will do. Okay. So if you hide that, this is what we are left with. And if we start adding some colour, I'm just going to colour in white. So I'm going to go to my fill, fill bucket, go to the shoe and just paint that white. I'll do both. I want this to be one. So I'm going to paint that white. Soles will be white. Tongue could be white. And the details also be white. And it could be white. So what we're left with is this. I'm just gonna go and neaten up. I'll just go back into this. I'm just neaten this all up a piece. By the looks of it, I can't have the toe bit on the tongue layer. That. I'm just gonna pull it onto the foot layer. Like that. Hmm, alright, we'll put it on the DL layer. This gets really fiddly. going to work for the sake of the tutorial as you can see we have our our shoe this should be underneath like that. okay so what we want to do now is basically we're going to convert this layer into a bone so I'm going to convert the foot layer you just right click on it and click convert to bone you now have yourself a bone layer and I'm going to add a bone right here and I'm gonna call it might make smart bone dial I'm gonna call it foot turn the same minimum angle minus 90 maximum angle 90 and the maximum duration is going to be again 48 frames which is two seconds okay so as before in the hand layer or the hand tutorial we want to use this smart bone when it goes fully to the left 
we're going to have the shoe facing backwards. So how I like to tackle it is if I go halfway through the first second, again, I should have brought this layer into here. So we want frame and here roundabouts and 24 frames so this is going to be the side view of the shoe and this is going to be the back view of the shoe so if you go into the side view on the first second on the 24 frame just go to your shoe the foot layer you just want to grab the points like so, so I'll grab the one that is at the front of the toe and I'll just drag it to its corresponding position at the side and then I'll just use these points to just drag up like that these ones hold like so my bad will be here okay so that's the foot layer we do the same with the layer and again with the detail so we know this ends up here like so And the same for this piece here. So this will just be dragged here. I say this just turns into this piece here, like so. And so if we look. Drag this here. So as you can see, how the shoe now turns. And the reason why it looks all a bit, a bit muffled. So let's do. Let's finish off the tongue. Okay, so if 
we go to our foot layer and we go to mask and hide all So all we're masking really is the detail layer. Okay, so now if the foot turns, you get a side foot, as you can see. And I think for this video, that's um that's all I'm really gonna cover. To do the back of the foot. All you would do is actually we don't want to mask this layer here. So now all you would do is use the points that you have and just fit them up. So you'd move that to there and just now use the points to build the back of the shoe. So that's just an example. Now, I hope you guys understood what I've done. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and create the foot because I have like five of these and they take a long time. But I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. Um, so you just get the sole and the rest of the feet and the rest of the assets and you just drag them into position. And I assure you, when you use the bone, once it's finished, you would have a fully working foot like I have. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Again, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you want me to um, go over, just leave a, a message in the comment section below and I'll, um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Stay tuned for the next video. That one we're gonna cover, I think the character creation. We're going to start putting all of these assets that we've created together. We're going to put them onto one character, um, build his limbs, and then in the following video, we're going to use that character to do our body turns and everything else that you need your character to do. So thanks for watching, guys.